Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, happy Friday. I am Star Hepzibah, Star for short. It is such an honor to be here with each and every one of you. I wanna say thank you so very much for your support. And I wanna give a special shout out to each and every one of you who have subscribed to this channel. I am truly honored and I know that it blesses the Lord. You are here because you wanna hear the word. You're here because you want Yahweh to water those dry areas in your life. I know that you're here because you want to live the Zoe life. And so I just want to say it is my prayer that Yahweh meets you, that he exceeds your expectations because you are obedient in tuning into his word. It's not Star Hepzibah messages that are being released. These are the messages that come from the Lord. These are some of the messages that the Lord has given me when I am in my quiet time, when I am in my prayer time. So these are very intimate. These messages have an anointing on them. So I know that for anyone that sits up under these messages, and you have been brought to this um, particular channel, I know that the Lord is, is, is doing something amazing. He is doing something mighty in your life and that you have openly submitted yourself unto the Lord, Yah, so that you can continue to receive the things that he has for you. All right, so I just, I celebrate that. I celebrate each and every one of you guys. And I do ask that you turn on your notification um, button just to make sure that you are notified each and every time I release a message. All right, Yahweh, believe it or not, Yahweh has been putting that in my spirit to share that on his channel. And I will always forget because I'm like trained to go. As soon as Yahweh say, star i need you to drop this message i drop the message i'm just more or less let me get this message out and let me do what i need to do once i release this i'm done i go and i handle whatever else it is that the lord is asking me to handle but i noticed like within the last past several messages yahweh has been bringing it to my attention like you are not asking you know um my sons and my daughters to turn on their notification bell so I don't know who this is for. I don't know if it's for one person or maybe it's just for the channel in general. Please turn on your notification bell. I don't want you to miss anything that Yahweh is saying to you. All right. So this message should be a fairly quick message. Um, the Lord is speaking to us about a Zoe life. Okay. A Zoe life. And he gave me this message on Saturday the 18th. And the time that he gave me this message, I've started journaling this particular message at 8.58 a.m. I looked at the time and it stuck out to me. Yahweh highlighted it. So um, Abba told me to go into Strong's Concordance and I did. And he said to let you know that for some of you, this is to come. Um, 8.58 means to come, but it also means insincerity. And it means smooth. It's not going to be complicated or it's not complicated. So maybe some of you are in fears. Maybe some of you have been so traumatized, right? He realizes that the wilderness was not an easy place, right? The place of captivity was not an easy place. There are so many people who have been traumatized, by the things that you've had to go through. And the Lord is saying he knows that there's much needed healing that needs to take place. And so he wants you to embrace a Zoe life. Okay, so a Zoe life is, it's both, it's physical in the natural world and it's also spiritual. Okay, it's a life that comes from and is sustained by Yahweh, okay? And so what it is, is Yah, Yahweh intimately shares his gift of life with his people. Because he created each and every one of us in his image, he wanted to give us the ability to know not only eternal life, but what life can be 
in the physical, in the natural. So let's dive a little bit deeper into what life is. Life is the state of one who has the possession of the gift of vitality. In other words, vitality is is someone who is gifted with strength. Um, someone who is energetic. How many times have you guys heard someone say, he is so full of life or she is so full of life? You've heard that before, right? They have been given the gift of vitality. And so the gift of vitality not only allows you to live, but it allows you to grow and it allows you to develop in a in a healthy way, in a joyful way, in an exciting way, in an energetic way. The NCI Dictionary of Cancer Terms says being ill or being treated for a disease such as cancer may lessen a person's Vitality. So there are things in this world that can come up against you to cause you not to live a life of joy, a life of um, being energetic, a life of peace, because it is Yahweh's desire that we live life and we live life abundantly, that we do things wholeheartedly in excitement, that we live life as an adventure. And so as I was doing a little bit more research, I found that the University of Pennsylvania said vitality is one of the five key strengths that is most highly correlated with happiness and well-being. And so one of the questions that Yahweh wanted me to pose to you today is, are you living a Zoe life? Are you living a life that's energetic? Are you living a life that's happy? You have so many people in this world that are just, they're stressed out. They're unhappy. They're sad. They're, they're just ridden with stress, disappointment, dis-ease, right? And so the Lord is asking you, are you living a Zoe life? A life that comes from him. And if you're not, the Lord is saying you are living a counterfeit life. Let's go over to John chapter one, verse four. It says it is the word who caused everything to live because of this. He has brought light to all people. The light shines in the dark. And the dark cannot put out the light. Okay? So this should be an indicator, right? That if you're serving anything less than what generates light, then what you're serving is death. And it leads to death. Verse 5 says, the light shines in the dark and the dark cannot put out the light. When you're living in a life that was created by Yah, the darkness cannot put it out. You would literally have to choose to serve something other than light. And Yah sent me one of his stars to shed light on those dark areas in your life. Do you desire the gift of a Zoe life? Do you feel the gifts? Because you can desire something and you may not feel it. So do you feel the gifts of a Zoe life? If not, Yahweh wants you to be transformed into his life and into the light. There's an unctioning that is taking place. He wants you to have an intimate, committed relationship with him. You can know him, 
But it doesn't mean that you are actually in relationship with him. Your life, if you're honest, is going to tell you everything you need to know. It's going to be um, living proof. It's going to be a reflection. So you're going to be able to see if you're living a Zoe life or not. Whether you are sitting in a position where you are stricken with disease or you're just in a state of darkness, you can be delivered, you can be set free and enjoy a Zoe life. And so some of you might be saying, how am I going to do this? How can I, you know, look at everything that's going on around my life? You know, I have this going on with the kids. I have that going on with the job. I have this going on with school. I have this going on with my health. I have that going on with my finances. Yahweh is saying, put all of that to the side for a minute. If you want to have and experience a Zoe life, the first place you must start is with a repentant heart. Ask Yahweh to help you. Ask him to guide you into all spirit and truth. His spirit and truth. Cry out unto the Lord, Yah. Because I'm going to tell you something. He's waiting for you. And he wants to give you a blessed Zoe life. I do have some additional information in the description box for those of you who are interested. It may be useful. But I pray that Yahweh leads you into the Zoe life designed just for you as you give him your yes. It's so important, guys. There is, you know, the life that Satan is leading a lot of people into have a lot of people fooled. A lot of people are still not woke to what is going on. And the Lord is saying, the first step is to take a, take, just take a view of your life. Look at yourself. Ask yourself, am I living a Zoe life? Am I happy? Or am I someone who is always walking around looking sad? Am I someone that's always, that, that carries a spirit of defeat? Are you someone who's always looking for more? You just don't feel fulfilled. You have a void. Because you cannot have things, possession, a particular life, and still be so full of zeal. You can literally exhibit a life, a Zoe life. And the Lord wants you to know, no matter what state you are in, if you are diseased on your sick bed, or if you are someone who, you know, you don't have, you know, any issues that are extreme to that extent, but you're just not happy. The Lord is saying no matter where you sit, no matter where you are in your life, he wants you to have a life of excitement, a life of joy. He did not create you to just suffer. He didn't. It's in his word. All right. So I hope you guys will take the time out to really ask yourself if you are living a Zoe life. And if you are not, that you will take the necessary steps that you need to get there. When Yahweh says start with a repentant heart. We all should be doing that. All of us, each and every one of us, when you get up multiple times a day, you should be repenting and asking Yahweh to forgive you for anything that you've done knowingly or unknowingly. You should be going before Yah each and every day. Even when you get to a place where you are good, you still should keep yourself clean. Keep yourself pure. Through the Holy Spirit, because mind you, we can only do that through the Holy Spirit, but you should be doing it. We shall all be doing it. And as you begin to go before him with a repentant heart, 
give them the time. Give them the room to talk to you. Give them the space to show you things. And if you don't hear from him, just rest in that and just continue doing those things. Continue praying, continue repenting, continue reading, even if it's a scripture a day until you get to the point where you're able to go and really dive into the word, reading chapters or books in the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? Like you just want to make sure that you are keeping yourself steady in his word. Because if there's something that Yahweh wants you to know, he'll get it to you. If there's something that he wants to show you, you'll see it. You're not going to miss him as long as you keep him present. The Zoe life is a gift. It's a gift. And he wants you to receive it. He wants you to live in excitement and love and joy and peace and goodness and faithfulness and patience and self-control. He wants you to have the gifts, healing, the gifts of tongues, the interpretation of them. The Lord, he has gifts and he wants you to experience them for his purpose. You will receive joy from it, but it's for his purpose to help save souls. To continue doing the things that Yahweh need us to do so that we can be on the side of victory. Because he's already defeated the enemy, but he wants us to live in that with him. All right. So I just ask you guys, if this message has blessed you, to please help others to be blessed by it. We should, we should enjoy advertising Yah. That should be a pleasure to us. We should want to ask people to partake in this walk with us. As long as you are on good ground, we should want to share the word. We should want to tell other people about it. You should never want to be in a place where you're like, you know, I don't want to ask other people to partake in this message. We should never be at that place. We shall always want to sing of his goodness and his mercies. We should want to tell it to the world. If people could go out here and they can advertise for their business and we can stand behind people advertising for their businesses, we should be able to stand behind advertising Yahweh. You know, and that's something that Yah has put on my heart for some time to say. I just haven't taken the time. I will always just you know, speak on the word and exit in the message. But it got to the point, the Lord was like, okay, I need you. If journaling it, maybe you need to put that. And I, and I literally, I did. I had to. <laughs> the Lord told me when I got to the end of this message in my journal, he told me to write it. I'm obedient and I'm going to always do what Yahweh tells me to do. Share his words, guys. Like, this ain't a me thing. This ain't about Star. It's not about me. It's about him. And it's about getting his word out. It's about sharing his love. As well as the flip side of it, right? It's about understanding what warfare is. It's about really becoming in tune with what this walk is about. It's about whatever Yahweh asked me to do. Remember, he cares about the, the, the small things just as well as he care about the mighty things, the magnified things. He cares about it all. If it has anything to do with him and bringing in helping to win souls, he cares about it. All right. So I pray that you guys receive this message. I pray that you will like, subscribe and share. I pray that you will have a blessed day, guys. And until next time, I do have more messages. I don't know when he wants me to release them. But until next time, I pray that you all have a beautiful Zoe life. All right. Have a good day, guys. Bye.